Hey guys, it's SG again here. I picked up four more of the T125 batteries and got them installed. And uh, there's two sets. They're about uh, 12, 4, and 12, 5. And uh, I just got two uh, 120 watt solar panels going off of this 12 volt setup. Batteries are reading 13.2, and uh, we're getting 12.6 amps. Out of just those two panels. Uh, a couple of other ideas I got I was watching uh, Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar. Uh, I'm gonna end up doing a disconnect that goes from the batteries up to the panel. I'm gonna put a disconnect there, and also put a disconnect coming from the solar panels to the uh, Missouri Wind and Solar charge controller. And uh, it just makes it a lot easier than disconnecting a couple of wires if I'm going to add batteries and safety also. Same thing, I recommend it when you guys are hooking inverters in line. Uh, earlier, when I just had the uh, four uh, T145 batteries hooked in there, this got to 14.3, uh, 14.4, 14 something like that, and it actually kicked and went into uh, divert mode. Stayed there for just a little bit and then came back on started charging them back up again and they got uh, up to uh, 13.9 but since I added these four more batteries uh, it's dropped down to 13.2 and with the sun uh, being shined out from the clouds there the amperage went down to like 4 point whatever it is now 3.4 got clouds coming back and forth on there now but if you look at the little indicator you see it uh, it's indicating five flashes Let's see again here. That's five flashes, so you're going to be from two, three, four, five batteries are sitting about 80% charged. Want to bring them up to uh, 14, 4 area and let them just keep cooking like that for. Two, two or three days and let the whole bank equalize that way the batteries are acting like one big bank and uh, it's watching uh, Larry Kemp's videos he, got, he gave me a lot of really good ideas and Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and he's just got tons of videos online if you have any questions how to do this or do that I mean just watch that that guy's gone above board there just to try to help everybody out make sure they're doing it the right way and safe but we're doing pretty good i uh, got a few more little electrical changes to make for safety, the disconnects and stuff. have to wait till the next disability check for that because I'm doing with what little bit I can with very little money. Anyway, it's coming along pretty good. After I get it all set up, it should start saving me some money putting power back into the house. We'll catch you later.